Assalamu alaikum. Today is the ninth night of the third of Shaban. So happy uh, birthday to Imam Hussain alayhi salam. I'm sitting in the middle of the two harams, Hazrat Abbas and uh, Hazrat, uh, Imam Hussain alayhi salam, also known as Ban al Haraman. And the scene over here, as you might imagine, and you've seen in photos, and obviously many of you have visited this place. May Allah bring everyone to this place. Is is really really amazing. You have green lights all over the place. You have uh, people who are coming uh, from all the different sources to uh, to visit <coughs> the Imam alayhi salam and celebrate his birthday. Uh, there are people from all countries in the world. I've seen Pakistanis, Iranis, um, other people from like obviously Iraq, all parts of Iraq, America, Canada, England, uh, you name it, like India. There are people from all over the world. And obviously, it's, it, there is a cheerful mood over here and it will continue for a few days. Um, Tomorrow night, it's again going to be a celebration over here. The night uh, after that, on the 9th, 15th, there will be a celebration over here. So it's not about the celebration. What, what I do want to highlight is a few things. Uh, that, Like, for example, it's celebration and janaza at the same time. There's a janaza going in front of me. Just went and gave a uh, shoulder to a janaza. So... It, it's it's amazing like the freedom you can feel the freedom you can feel the life you can feel like there are people who are free to do what they want to do uh, as long as they are within the confines of sharia uh, so all the women over here are wearing like full clothing as recommended by islam but there is no one telling them what color to wear what color not to wear uh, men are wearing uh, all sorts of clothing, pants, shirt, long clothes, shalwar kameez. It's, it's very free. So now the other thing that I noticed was there was a milad at, uh, to commemorate the birth of Imam Hussain Islam. But within the milad, they read Masaib, which in some cases, some people might say, oh, it's uh, why are you reading Masaib? But it, it's free. Like people are not being told what to do. Um, they're wearing black, they're wearing <coughs> red, they're wearing white. All things that what they want to do are being done. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to highlight is there's no one guiding like what is right and what is wrong no one is there like telling you cannot stand over here or you cannot sit over here or you cannot wear this or you cannot pray like this or you cannot sit in this direction or you cannot uh, do sujood in this direction or, or on this material and etc 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 the list goes on um, and this night for sure it's, it's an amazing night i mean this night was the birth of imam hussain alayhi salam and imam hussain alayhi salam like obviously there are a lot of riwayat about his birth um he was very close to the prophet himself in fact there are narrations that he did not drink any like milk from anyone he just used to uh, like uh, the prophet used to give his own tongue and his thumb to imam hussain alayhi salam and that is how he grew up so if this night is so amazing in here every part of the world how amazing would it be in the place where the imam came into the world the land of Medina and as I compare the scenes over here with the scenes that one would see in Medina that I saw in Medina on the night of Ashura it was the same time literally it was the same time it is roughly 2 o'clock of night and on the night of Ashura this place would have been completely filled the number of people I'm seeing it would be 10, 15, 20, 100 times those people clad in black reciting Majalis Noha for Imam Hussain at 2 a.m. 
on the night of Ashura, when I was sitting in Medina, I wasn't allowed inside the boundary of the harams. So you think about this Ban al Haraman is the extended haram of Karbala. And if you are told you cannot enter Ban al Haraman, in fact you have to stay outside the Ban al Haraman, the grills, that is what I was told, you cannot be in, in the haram of the Prophet. And then it wasn't only that, I was sitting on outside Think about this, people who have been to Medina or people who have been to Karbala, if you're sitting in one of the streets in, in front of one of the shops and you're facing the Haram of Imam Hussain Islam, because let's say if they tell you you cannot sit Ban al Haraman in the extended Haram, where will you go? You'll sit outside in front of a shop looking at the Haram of Imam Hussain Islam. But that wasn't even allowed in Medina. You couldn't sit over there. Then you had to go outside. You had to go far, far away. And I was sitting alone on a bench. Night of Hashura. There was not a single soul inside. There was not a single person inside. That was the night of Qiyamah. And not... There was police curfew no one was allowed to sit over there and as that happened and as that happened it's 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 hard to imagine the freedom over here versus the freedom versus the situation that people had seen in Medina now it, it doesn't end over there it just starts over there just think about that it's in Medina if you are standing and praying in the direction of the graves of Ahl Bayt or uh, direction of the grave of Prophet وسلم, they will come and tell you, oh you have to pray towards, facing towards Kaaba. And they will change your direction and they will guide you as if they are the owners of the religion and no one else knows what the religion is. And then if you are there, touching anything of Masjid al any any part, even the floor with, with the cloth, with anything what are they going to do? they're going to come and tell you you cannot do that, that is bidha that is wrong as if they are the true knowledgeable ones who know what to do here in Karbala no one even questions anything whether you're praying in which direction whether Meaning, it doesn't mean that you're praying like doing salat, but like uh, raising dua in what uh, in the direction of Imam Hussain or Hazrat Abbas, or you're touching the 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 mausoleum and the shrines of Imam Hussain in Aqida. No one comes and tells you what is right and what is wrong. And then, what about if you're in Medina? They will come and they will tell you where. Why are you praying on a turba? And they will throw away the surba. Over here, no one questions. You can f pray on the floor. You can pray, pray on the carpet. You can pray on <coughs> anything. If they are in Medina, they tell you you cannot pray on turba. Over here in Karbala, they can tell you you cannot pray on carpet. Because it's a different version of uh, Islam. But no, no one tells you anything. You can pray, you can do du'a in the direction of Kaaba, you can do du'a in the direction of the Haram of Imam Hussain Islam, you can pray on the carpet, you can pray on the turba, you can touch the zari, you can touch yourself, your, you don't have to touch, you can just stand outside, no one is going to push you to go and touch the zari. How's that? Why is that so different? There must be something that he, whenever in history, whenever someone prescribes a lot of instructions and tells you this is the right way and there is a majority who doesn't think like that you have to think about why is that like how are they right who tells them that they're right and, <coughs> and I'll also say like the the, the peace 
the, the tranquility I might be biased because I'm, uh, I'm I'm a Shia but the peace and tranquility when you see no one harassing you not a police car going from right to left not anyone trying to tell you what to do not anyone not being afraid of what's going to happen when the next police car comes and they might take your cell phones or not having check post every single point checking your identity and not telling you you cannot wear black on the day of ashura not being afraid that there is what what happens if there is a janaza and you cannot make to the janata baki the all of those things are when you don't have all of those concerns wallahi it is such a such a different opinion different perspective